So you're looking for a writing program and you've stumbled across UCLA and you see that they've got a feature film writing program that may be just for you. Well, I have taken feature film one, finally. Now I know it's been a while since I brought you a review of the course for the UCLA extension program, and that's because every now and then I tend to have sort of a financial break that I need to take, where I'm also actually working on other things and may not have expressly the amount that I need to go to actual school that semester. I'm excited to talk to you a lot about this class, about what I experienced, what was included in the course, and get to the juicy bits about what I felt about the class. I'm Pika Lee, and if you don't know me, I'm a writer and filmmaker who just so happens to like sharing a little bit of content about the business of writing and a little bit about how to develop story. Along the way, I also drop a few tidbits about what I'm doing here and there, and hopefully you'd like to join this community of scribes where you can share a little bit about what your journey is looking like right now. Since instructors do change over time within this program, I'm going to stick to the content and how I felt about it and how relevant it was, and then I'm going Going to focus on exactly my experience in the learning environment, especially because every writer is going to have a very different experience, but for the most part the content should pretty much stay the same for what they teach. If you're not familiar with the screenwriting certificate from UCLA Extension in their writers program, then let's break it down just a little bit. The certificate program comes with four feature film writing courses, which is broken down into the outline for feature film one, which is what I took, then there's feature film two, where from the treatment that you've completed in feature film one, you then go on to actually write your first act. They then go on to do feature film three, and that is writing the second act, and then feature film four, which writes and completes the actual script in the third act and from there you also learn a little bit about the revision drafting process. For now we're going to stick with talking about the feature film one writing course. As I've said the feature film writing one course is the outlining and treatment course. So this is where you put together your beats and you learn a lot more about the structure of story. So in feature film one you do get a instructional over the next few weeks of a log line and the beats that you might hit in a story. Those are going to be the major elements of your story, major scenes and major plot points that actually really start to engage the audience and that really start to give a character arc and a plot to your story. So these are the things that you do learn within the first few weeks. From there, you then move on to actually creating your treatment. And this, of course, like I said, can be very different from instructor to instructor, but I will talk about the process with my instructor. And my instructor was definitely starting us out with log lines. So the first, very first session that we had, week one was the assignment of bring a log line of who you are as a writer, which is a really interesting way to start a class and for me was a little bit sort of caught me off guard. I've never been able to do that when asked for a writing statement or a writer's sort of bio and so I found that pretty challenging right off the bat. The second week was actually writing your concept log lines so if you're going into this course I'm not sure if every single professor does it the same or instructor but come with a few concepts in mind already and figure out which one you want getting very close to the time because you're going to be working on that for the next few weeks. After creating our logline, we got to pitch our loglines to our class and our peers and also get feedback. A lot of the class was peer-reviewed feedback also as well as once you went ahead and submitted it to the instructor, they would also give you feedback by the next class. This may work a little bit differently from instructor to instructor. So of course, as well, keep that in mind for when you take your course. You are going to be using the three act structure. So if you're not familiar with it, I would take just a brief look at it before you start the class. This will just kind of get you prepped and get you ready. But of course, most writers are pretty familiar with it because they've done a little bit of research before they've decided yeah, I want to study this and I want to invest in this. So if you already know the three act structure, you've already maybe read Save the Cat 
or you've already tried to write a script already, I think that this class is still really good and useful for you. That's the most interesting part of the class where you are watching films or reading films or just learning about structure as a whole from the perspective of this instructor. That's going to be something that will shape your writing and your concept later on. Definitely come to the table excited and with a great concept that you're excited to work on for probably the next four courses because yes, you are supposed to write the first treatment here and then the next three courses should actually be taking that treatment and writing the actual script. Something I thought that was really interesting about my instructor was she had us write one scene from the hook to the inciting incident and a lot of us really struggled trying to quickly get out a scene in a week or less. Now the great thing about actually doing this course is that it puts you on sort of a deadline so when you have writing assignments you're going to be forced to get this out whether you feel like writing or not and that is something that we talked about in class and something that the instructor actually wanted to dive into a little bit more how you have to come to the page and just write which I was used to, but I didn't think that I could do all of this in less than a week and I work full time. So for you full time writers out there, it is possible. You just have to be okay with not being perfect and releasing the tension of perfectionism. So just go in and do your best and turn in those assignments and you will get feedback that will actually be very helpful to you. A thing that I loved about my instructor was she actually encouraged writing groups. So I did create a sort of Saturday meetup where we can talk a little bit about our scripts and how they were going and the outlines and the beats and sort of give ourselves a little extra peer review in case we were feeling a little bit insecure about what we were writing. I myself chose to write a rom-com, which is not something I always write, even though, yes, I know I have done a video or two about cozy romance and Hallmark, but it's actually not something that I specifically write. Yeah, it was actually something that I was quite insecure about. You do have to share your concept and your beats with the class, so definitely be prepared and just know that this is going to really benefit you even though it might feel super nerve-wracking and I know that I come on here and I am on camera but nothing compares to being on camera in front of a group of people sharing your ideas and being very unsure if they're gonna take it in a positive way and tell you that your writing is good because obviously that's what we really really hope for when you're in a really great class you learn that feedback will be given in a very positive way and if there's anything that they have to give you as far as a pointer or two that you can improve there are rules that are laid out with every instructor so don't worry about that i have rarely come across a peer who has completely annihilated somebody for their writing and to be honest most people whether they're starting from the very first time in their life screenwriting, they're actually creating concepts that have really, really great foundations. So everything can be improved and everybody's got a pretty great concept. Week by week, we actually got to read all of our scenes that we wrote from Hook to Inciting Incident one by one in class with the rest for peer feedback after the lecture, which was really fun also. I think it was a great addition. It sort of broke the ice and gave us more to work with with our peers and actually gave us more time to get our writing in. Some people did not quite know exactly what screenwriting program to use. Of course, there are many, so if you're nervous that you might have to write a scene in class or you're just looking ahead of time, you can actually check out if there's Arc Studio, which has a free basic version, and then you've got a paid subscribed version, which if you actually use my code down below, you can get $30 off yours today, any subscription that you want. And it's got a lot of really great points for actually visually seeing you outlining your story, so I highly recommend it and I love it. A lot of peers will say Final Draft. Final Draft is absolutely great because it is the industry standard. I personally don't use it and that is because a lot of writers will have you believe that you need it to begin writing, but you don't. You can use 
really virtually any other program as long as it gives you the correct formatting. Final Draft is used between producers and other writers in the industry where you would have to send that file format to. But most every program will export it to PDF, which is completely okay if you're just writing to learn the craft, entering competitions and fellowships, so don't worry. It is not needed for you to spend that much money right away. I know, unpopular opinion. I also use Scrivener. Scrivener is something that I use because I write both novels and scripts, and so I love the organization of that specific UI. It has a lot of organization features and a lot of other really great features that I like to use, so it's something that keeps me focused and on target and planned. So. Scrivener is something that if you want to invest because you might do both screenwriting and novel writing, that would be a really fun one to invest in. It's a one-time fee and it's about $50. You can also use Celtex or Writer Duet and I should probably make a video about this, so look out for one. And I highly recommend that you engage with your instructor and your peers. It really does help and it completely radically changed my whole story by engaging and listening and being open to feedback and making changes I never thought I would make with this concept that I actually wrote down like years ago. It was an old concept, I dug it out of the archives, and I finally said I'm gonna write it. And during this whole process I can absolutely say that I had no idea I was going to be this much more in love with my concept now and the outline that I have, and I was so open to taking risks in the class and just saying, well, I can always rewrite it outside of it if I don't like it. All in all, I think that Feature Film 1 was a very useful class, even for me who has done a few different classes before. So for beginners to, I think, intermediate, this would be a great class for a refresher or to learn from scratch. I think my instructor was fantastic, very responsive, and very involved with all of her students, and I loved all of my peers also. We really got to bond when we were sharing our stories. It does bring you a lot closer when you're sharing very, very personal uh, stories with people, and it's a really great, fun time to actually meet other writers that may be in your area, so definitely give it a shot if you're interested in it and definitely let me know if you take it how you did and what you thought of your instructor and your class. And I'll see you on the next one, scribes.